what I want to do is I want to create a folder. Let me show you how to do that. Now we are part of a desktop as part of Visual Studio Code. Now I can close this CMD. Even I can close this. Even I can close this. Right click. I mean, just click here. Say DevOps. We created a folder. You see, this is a folder. In this folder, if you're planning to create a file, let's create a file. Select this tools.txt. We created a file. And if you want to add something to the file, this is a test file. Once it is done, go to file, save it. Now, if you want to read it, double click and read it. In the help of notepad also you can read it. So whatever the action we do with the help of graphical, same thing we are doing it with the help of VS Code. That is one advantage. Second thing is, instead of opening CMD separately, Git Bash separately, PowerShell separately, like individual tools. We have opened three tools, individual tools here. Instead of doing this, what you can do is you can go to Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, you have an option called Terminal. Go to Terminal, click on New Terminal. Here you can open the same two, three tools here. By default, it is open with PowerShell, the default shell. If you click on drop down here, let's drop down, you have Git Bash. You can switch over to Git Bash. No, I want to switch over to CMD. Switch over to CMD. Now I want to go back to PowerShell. Go back to PowerShell. Now I want to configure Git Bash as a default. Then go to select default profile, select Git Bash, and close this once, and go to terminal and new terminal. Now it opens with only Git Bash all the time. But whenever you want to switch over to CMD and PowerShell, you can switch over here. Instead of opening the tool separately like this, one after other, the same functionality you can access with the help of VS Code. Now, it's a time to go with the AWS. I would like to close this My Windows machine. I would like to move on to the AWS now. Let me go to AWS now. Go to a browser. Using your laptop, using a browser, you go all the way to one of the tab. Then you search for aws.amazon.com. Then you click on sign in button. Once you click on sign in button, mine is automatically logged in. Let me log out and log in again. Click on sign in button. You're trying to log into the AWS cloud as a root user. Here you need to provide your root user, logins, username, and password. Successfully, we have logged into the AWS as a root user. The moment you log into the AWS, you need to understand a few basic things. The moment you are logged in here, you are part of management console. Top left corner, you have AWS logo. If you click here, this home page will get refreshed. And if you want to go to services, here we have a list of services. It starts with alphabets, A, analytics. Under analytics, what you have from one service to until these many services you have. That means under each group, you'll have minimum one service. Under blockchain, you have only one. Under analytics, you have more than one. Under business applications, you have more than one. Under cloud financial management, you have three. Compute, more than one. Containers, four. Customer enablement, more than one. Five services. Databases, more than one. Developer tools, ultimate DevOps tools, more than one. End user computing, more than one. And these services are categorized into two parts, global services and region-based services.